Hello guys, good morning from Hawaii. I'm on the big island because something that I always wanted to do was to get my free dive certification. And I really just wanna learn breathing techniques and everything, I guess, scientifically that there is to learn about free diving and the proper techniques. So I finally made that dream come true. I'm here in Hawaii with a couple of my best friends and we're all going to be doing it together. And today is actually a classroom session for four hours. My goal is to be like a sponge and just soak in every bit of knowledge that I can get. And I'm really excited about this process because I've also heard that Big Island is one of the most beautiful places to free dive. So I'm feeling really blessed and grateful to be here for this experience and uh, excited to learn. We're getting certified by Heidi from Merlife Hawaii, who I met on Namotu Island in Fiji earlier this year. And I expressed my desire to learn freediving from her, and here we are. So to begin things off, we're in the classroom going over safety, problem management, the history behind freediving, the proper equipment, breathing, and of course, the physiology and physics for level one. Basically how to safely and effectively execute our 20 meter dive. So it has been a very long but educational day in the classroom. We drew a diagram, a plan basically, of how we're gonna be executing our 66 foot dive. And this may look a little crazy, but for me it was really, really helpful to actually draw this out. I think anyone who snorkels or is interested in being safe in the water should all take a freediving course. 100%. Yes. I learned so, so much, and even though I feel like I am an ocean person, I feel so humbled right now. Yes. So me humbled. Too. And it's just day one. And it's, yeah. We haven't even Literally. gone in the water yet. <laughs> we haven't even gone in the water. <laughs> day That's two tomorrow. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. Which we will learn so, so much more, and I am definitely the type of learner where I need to go out and do and experience yes. it. So. Me Put too. everything we learn mm -hmm. into motion. Yeah. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're gonna hit the water nice and early. So yeah, good night guys. Good morning guys. Today is the day for our confined water dive. Super excited because I got a brand new low volume free diving mask and snorkel for this occasion. I also have my weight belt. I get to use my brand new free diving fins that Michael got me for Christmas with the whale shark print. Got my Apple watch because this records depth, which is pretty sweet. You guys excited? So yes. Excited. Let's go. I think today yes. we're gonna work on our static breath holds and other safety techniques, so. We'll learn a lot. <laughs> so we're not I gotta staying. be zen, I'm nervous. Gotta be zen. <laughs> so we'll check in with you guys later. On our confined water day, we're starting off with the basic techniques of proper water entry and kicking form. This entry method is the most efficient way to start a dive because it conserves oxygen and uses one leg as a weight to sink your body down. Then we run drills for safety techniques, doing mock blackouts and loss of motor control scenarios so that as a good buddy diver, we know what to do in those situations. Obviously, freediving can be high risk with hypoxia, so it's important to learn how to react in these scenarios. To end our session, we practice our static breath holds and aim for three minutes. To safely do this activity, you have a buddy as a safety who will keep track of time with a tapping method. I personally am not a fan of doing static breath holds because it is uncomfortable, but this is probably the greatest way to train your body to dive deeper because your active dive time is half of your static breath hold. Our instructor Heidi is helping us through the contractions with really soothing talk about relaxing our bodies and reassuring us that everything is okay. And this really does help me mentally, especially as time slowly ticks on by. Good morning guys, today is the big day. It's the last day of our free diving course. Yay. Can't even see Caitlin back there, but here she is. <laughs> We're really excited because today's the day that we challenge ourselves to go down to 66 feet. 
hopefully, fingers crossed, and we also have to take our test and do all of the finishing steps to get our certifications. So we are in the car at 6.49 a.m. We have a little bit of a drive before we get to where we're gonna go. I heard it's beautiful, so I'm very excited. So let's get this day started. Woohoo! I like my fish and boy. I'm a big boy. We've made it to our location about 30 minutes early. So we're all just getting ready for today. Putting on lots of sunscreen. It's an absolutely gorgeous day for our dive. So I'm super stoked. It's super glassy. Here's a so squat. I'm excited. It's beautiful out. The squat is here. Can't wait to get in the water. You could say we're ready to rumble. <laughs> We're doing some gentle stretches and modified yoga using this bench to warm up our bodies before we get in the water. And also just focusing on my breath the entire time. A steady inhale through my nose and a calm exhale, just mentally preparing myself. All right, I'm all seated up, got my dive watch on. This will record the depth, so hopefully it will say 66 feet by the end of the session. Two, swim. We are so ready. And now comes the time for our actual diving. To warm up our lungs, we're starting off with a free immersion exercise where we practice our breathe up technique on the surface and then pull ourselves down on the rope to about five meters deep. Then we just hang out until we feel the first contractions and then slowly pull ourselves back up. By doing this, we're triggering our mammalian dive reflex and prepping our minds and our bodies for depth. We do a couple more warm up dives, the next one to 10 meters, then 15 meters, and then the 20 meter mark. After the free immersion warm up, it's time to do the dynamic dive to 20 meters. And after the warm ups, my lungs are expanded and feeling ready. It's so peaceful underwater, I really can't describe this sensation. But with the light rays shining from the depth, it really allowed me to feel a deep sense of calm and almost an inviting feeling that the ocean wants me to go down and explore it. I'm doing another 20 meter dive for good measure. This time, remembering the chart we drew in class about the positive, neutral, and negative buoyancy zones. To get down to the first 10 meters is positive buoyancy. So I'm supposed to kick hard and wide, and once I reach the negative buoyancy zone, I don't have to work as hard and can kind of free fall a bit and use narrower kicks. And when coming back up, I reverse that. So big kicks to get out of the negative zone until I reach the positive zone where my body will naturally come up to the surface. And finally, we're putting everything together by practicing our rescue scenarios, but this time in a realistic setting where we're deep and on the line. After learning about this in the classroom, then practicing step-by-step -step during our confined water dive, 
It feels really good to tie it all up and really feel confident in our skills. We've done it. We've done the thing. We did a thing. We did a thing. <laughs> we uh, we successfully do? completed our dive. Feeling Yay! really, really good. Feeling accomplished. Got down to 66 feet twice, actually. Yes. 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 And um, yeah, ready for level two. <laughs> ready, for, ready for food. Ready for a burger. Ready for a burger. We're off to go get some food and take then we will take our final exam. And it'll be official. So, then it will be official. It's been such an epic morning. Just, just look where we are. Oh, so beautiful. Unreal. Insane. After completing our dive skills, the final step to the certification is the written portion. And after that's all done, I am officially a level one certified freediver. This morning, we are all getting ready to go for a surf. Put on a little sunscreen. Figure it'd be a good time to recap our freediving experience. I learned three things, okay? I learned about the safety of free diving, how to free dive to 66 feet. Most importantly, I had a boatload of fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was really, really fun. <laughs> to, that, get to share that experience yes. with friends and learn something new and challenge ourselves Priceless. together and support each other throughout the whole process. It was really, really nice. It was amazing to push myself and to accomplish something that I never thought I would be able to do because when I first signed up for this course I was like what 66 feet with no air yeah that sounds impossible to totally. me and then you go through this course and you go through the steps and the warm-ups and you realize like wow I can really do this bucket list item ticked off for sure and I'm excited to maybe aim for level two one day yeah. but for now we are officially certified a huge thank you to Heidi she was the perfect woman to learn from. She is so knowledgeable, so supportive, and really was inspiring throughout the whole process. We are off to go surf. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.